Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm just watching chat. <laughs> you guys on the Twitch side are hilarious. Uh, what is this? Uh, Deluxe being effective? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't expect to be effective at all today, actually. I expect to uh, fail miserably. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait to give this game a shot. So I've been eyeing this for a while. I've had it actually in my arsenal of goodies for some time with the full honest intention of actually sitting down and learning how to play. However, uh, never having the opportunity to do so. And this is not the kind of game you want to start a series or anything when you actually haven't had any experience at all because it's, I, uh, from what I've heard, because I haven't actually watched anybody else play, I've only read articles and reviews on this game and everybody's saying it's, it's like, you know, it's really, it's actually not hard to learn, but it's really difficult to master. Uh, very, very challenging game. Apparently the event system is just brutal and unforgiving and I'm really excited to uh excited to check it out hold on it, can everybody hear me okay i just want to be sure that my audio is working <laughs> you can't do 1080p only 1440 that doesn't make any sense actually i'm sure if you can do 1440 you can do uh 1080 but we are streaming in glorious 1440p of course my favorite <laughs> You can watch it in 720 as well. It's totally up to you. Good evening. Hello, everybody. So we're going to be playing some Stellar Hub today. As I said, I've had very little experience. I've wanted to sit down and play. I just haven't had the opportunity to do so. So Stellar Hub, developed by Casual Logic and fully released today. And I think it's going for... Uh, I think I saw it for... Nine dollars Canadian. So what is that like? I, I don't know. Dollar American. <laughs> it's like super cheap. Honestly, if you have ten bucks or five bucks or whoever it is, however much it is for you, pick it up because this looks really good. It looks like it's going to be uh, one of these games where you just <laughs> you you start a game and then like two hours later you you go to bed because you failed being your all your crew's dead and everything. But be really fun, really fun. Anyway, so fully released today. Stellar Hub is a top-down space station management game with a strong emphasis. on on survival uh, designed to torture even the most masochistic of gamers and I am one of those gamers I love not only do I love RimWorld but I love RimWorld's most difficult challenges like playing in the ice 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 cold when it's like minus 120 degrees Celsius and stuff like that so this might be right up my alley but I can't even tell you for a hundred percent sure because I've played very little there is two tutorials here uh, let me just take a look. So there's a basic tutorial. I did do this one. Uh, it says not completed, but I did complete it. I don't know why it's saying that. No. Maybe I didn't actually complete it. Maybe I actually didn't even make it through the entire tutorial. That is hilarious. And then there's an advanced tutorial. Of course, have not touched that. And then there is some easy missions. There's, there's some uh, mini missions. Well, hold on. Actually, before I talk about that, what is... I mean, basically, in this game, you're going to build a space station. You're going to manage your employees. You're going to research stuff. You're going to defend the station from external threats like meteors and pirates and stuff like that. Then you're going to trade goods and try to become self-sufficient. It all sounds pretty easy, doesn't it? Uh, I, I don't think it is. <laughs> uh, not at all. Um, yes, we're definitely going to make everybody a crew member here. Everybody that's here. Sure. So just make sure you chat. Uh, yeah, eight ninety nine. I think, for me in Canadian. Yeah, so I don't know what that is in American. It's... It's, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know what the exchange rate is. It's probably like five bucks. Honestly, for, for, for that amount of money, pick it up. I, w I would say anytime uh, something like this is worth like under 10 bucks, like definitely pick it up. And I think this is full release. I don't think it's even early access or anything. So I'm not going to do, there is a uh, free game where it's everything's random. I'm not going to do that because I'm a little terrified of this. I want something that's at least 
So all of these are, are preset missions, I think. I don't know. I'm not I'm not entirely sure. But I think we'll, we'll, we're going to do a medium one with lots of flying asteroids and few trade ships. That sounds like fun and terribly difficult. So we're, let's read this. Fury 5. It is a remote system with four lifeless planets and a dying red and yellow four class yellow four class star a high temperature and almost complete absence of oxygen clouds inhibits the development of the resources the system has a fairly large crumbling planetoid and it's uh, it is a source of stray asteroids so we won't have very much oxygen oh that's great that is great so we can also choose uh whether I, just give me one sec here, guys. I just want to be sure. I, I think I can actually get chat on my screen so I can actually watch it while I play. Hold on. Let me let me just adjust something here. I wonder if I can. Uh, just give me one sec. Give me one sec. I need to. If I can get the chat on my screen so I can actually see it while I'm actually playing, that would be great. And sometimes I can get that to work. I've been fiddling around with this a lot lately. Mode. Is there? Ah, there we go. Yes, I can actually see the chat on my screen. I love it. Absolutely love it. And actually, it didn't affect anything on my side. So it looks really great. All right. So let's go back in here. Uh. You know, I, I mean, the reason I, it's it's inexpensive in that, you know, like Interstellar Trade Company, which I was playing the other day, I don't think it's even nearly half as fleshed out as this, I, although I haven't played this all that much, but, and it, I, I feel like this is more of a complete game, and this is like worth, I mean, you can buy it for less than half the price, I don't know, that's my personal opinion. Anyway, so we can choose the type of crew that's coming with us, we can choose amateurs, professionals, semi-professionals, or, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I think we'll go with professionals. <laughs> Just because this will be my first official real game, and uh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Eight ninety nine is two forty nine for US. <laughs> yeah, or for us, wherever us is, <laughs> for US. Yes, uh, yeah. The, the the exchange rate is ridiculous. Okay, so let's just pause it here. So for the oh, it's actually I have to move this. I I can see the the chat on my screen, but it's in kind of the way of everything. You guys can't see what I see exactly. So let me just change this so it's maybe over here a little bit easier for me to watch maybe i don't know we'll see anyway so uh here we go so this is our starting map uh we uh so uh, i'll tell you about the things i do know i do know that there is two different types of materials you can harvest there is crystals and there is uh legumes no crystals and something else one of them gives us plastics or, or one of them can be manufactured into plastics the other one can be manufactured into metal i do know that these uh, little question marks on the map here are areas that we can probe eventually i know probing i know i love probing wait that doesn't sound very good <laughs> but anyway we can probe these and and discover stuff in there i don't know what then this this little uh, cloud here is an oxygen cloud and here it says it has eight thousand units of oxygen in there so we will eventually want to get at that and of course use that oxygen to fill our reserve and the one other thing that oh yes this one's very important here so this spot here uh, will allow us to we'll be able to place down a solar plant like a giant solar panel to uh, accumulate some of the uh, sun's rays here for some reason you can only place down a solar plant in these certain in these particular spots and that of course will regenerate our power which is indicated here so right now it's saying with our one little hub piece our little space station hub piece is costing us two power per per second minute i don't know two power per second or minute or something or per per <laughs> insert uh, time unit uh, as you see fit uh so yeah we're down to 498 already which means we're gonna have to start getting some power fairly quickly we're down to 499 uh oxygen already so we're gonna have to get some of that going as well too so what's eating up our oxygen well all these people in here look at them all <laughs> and they're all happy isn't that nice that's not gonna last very long at all so let's let's rename some people as we take a look at them so we have our workers uh can i rename them hold on can i rename them how do i rename people can i rename oh i hope i can rename people how do i do it hey who knew? hold on uh go to med bay go to work skills Roll stats, roll stats, roll stats, roll stats, roll, roll stats. Okay. <laughs> uh, oxygen. I would be careful. You can over harvest and waste resources. Yes. Thank you for letting me know because I had no idea. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, oh, I know that, but I actually did not. So thank you very much for that. So maybe I can't rename these guys. Oh, that would be a terrible shame. <gasps> can I not rename? I can't rename the. I can't rename the dudes. Oh man, that's too bad. I was totally gonna rename everybody after you guys, because you know, <laughs> what's better than watching your your employees die is watching your employees who are named after your community die. Uh, so unfortunately, it looks like we can't do that. So anyway, here's our crew. We've got 
two workers. These guys, apparently, they haul things from one place to another. That They have a pretty simple task. The two abilities that's the most important to them is strength and agility. And these guys seem to have a lot of strength and very little agility. Agility determines how fast they move. Strength determines how much they can carry, I believe. And then we've got our miners. Our miners, of course, are people that uh, occupy the mining equipment and mine stuff. That makes sense. Medics, of course, cure diseases and stuff. He looks... Is it, he looks very plasticky, doesn't he, that guy? Interesting. Looks like he's got a plastic beard. Anyway, and then we've got scientists, of course. They science stuff, they research stuff. Um, and I think medics medics require intelligence? Oh, maybe not. If, if medics require intelligence, uh, this guy here, Spartacus Flores, uh, he might be... He might be, uh, he might be an issue because he has no intelligence. I think intelligence just determines how quickly they gain skills. Mentality? I don't know, does it actually say here? <laughs> Mentality, mentality, it affects... Oh, I can't see over my little chat thing. Hold on, let me move that. Mentality, it affects the speed of... Lo expects, uh, affects the speed of lowering mood. The higher it is, the slider, uh, the slower the mood falls. Okay, so really, I guess... I don't know, I guess... Yeah, that's fine then. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back here. So we've got a medic, we've got a miner, we've got two scientists. Of course, they research stuff. They need to have a research station or a science station. Um, then we've got our cleaners. Very important, I think, because cleaners make sure that everybody stays happy. Oh, and also, you'll notice that everybody here has a uh, a personality trait, or a quirk, if you want to call it. Um, so, <laughs> uh, what's her name? Uh, where's her name? Oh, uh, Danielle. Danielle is a lazy bones. I assume that makes her lazy. Then we've got uh, Meticulous. Vanessa is meticulous. Then we've got uh, Ivan is athletic. Then we've got... Let's scroll down here so we can see Oh, that's too bad. I would have loved to rename... I, I am actually disappointed. I would have loved to rename these people after you guys, so then I can watch you guys. Oh, I've heard about this one. I've heard about Bright Personality. Uh, I, that was actually mentioned in, the I think, the tutorial or something. Um, yeah, so this guy here, Spartacus, it has a Bright Personality. That means when he walks by other people, he actually raises their mood. So it's actually a really great little personality trait uh, that, to have. And then we've got Workaholic, which, I mean, can't be a bad thing, right? Don't work too much. Uh, personality Observant. I assume that's good for science? I don't know. And then we've got the Cleaner, who is a hedonist. What the heck is a hedonist? We'll go back and look, look at that. That's, that sounds dirty, doesn't it? He's a hedonist. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, well, anyway. So then we've got John Perry, who's a kleptomaniac. What is he going to... Oh, he's going to steal our stuff. That's not good. So the technicians are the guys who do all the repairing and building. Uh, very important role. We'll probably need more than one, I would think. And then the oxygen plant operators. These guys, of course, uh, operate the oxygen plant, and they uh, and they get oxygen. But this guy's a boozer and a neat freak, and this guy is a slovenly. Hold on, let's take a look at that. Slovenly. How do I look at that exactly? Slovenly creates twice as much dirt and garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Fan freaking tastic boozer, of course, consumes twice, three times as much alcohol in the bar. And then we've got a neat freak, perfect. Neat freak doesn't create, doesn't create dirt or garbage like at all. That's really great. Observant, pretty obs uh, Oh, gain professional experience by watching other people work. Hey, that's cool. That's really cool. And then workaholic, of course, works double shift regardless of fatigue. That might be bad. I don't know. Occasionally steals resources while carrying them. <gasps> So we don't want this particular guy to actually operate as a hauler in our thing. What, what, what's another one? Late, hedonistic, that's one. Spends as much, spends twice as much time in the bar or recreation area. Okay, so I think we're good to go. <laughs> Skelly man, you're going to India? Oh man, okay. Uh, well, that cancels each other out. One produce dirt and the other one does not produce dirt. Yes, so well, that's kind of nice. I, I think having a clean station might be really important. All right, so we start off, we have our hub here. And our goal, I think to start off, I, I I think the important thing to do to start off here is maybe get some recreation stuff, some living quarters down, and maybe go after this oxygen area and this energy area. I think the energy is probably more important. And then the next order of business will maybe to start going after some resources and or maybe get some, uh, maybe a science base or something. So anyway, first off, let's build our first, let's build a crew quarters, I think to start. So connector, canteen, canteen and a crew quarters. Let's start with crew quarters. That way everybody has a place to sleep right away. So we're going to do this in such a way so that we're heading towards this little energy thing, I think. I think that's probably the best choice. So let's build a crew quarters. Thing is, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's build a crew quarters. Let's do that first. So crew quarters. Yes. So now what's going to happen once we get it going here? 
is these little hauler dudes are going to grab the materials that we have in this little area here and bring it over here. So notice we need 25 metal and 25 plastics in order to build this. I'm just going to keep it running at regular speed because if we go any faster, honestly, like this is the first time I played it. So just, you know, go easy on me. Some of these guys are going to be really slow. Like, I, look at how slow some of these guys are. Crazy. So these haulers, is he a hauler? No, he's, yeah, he's a hauler. He's a worker. Why is he not working? Work, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to try this, actually, uh, Skelly Master. I, I've been wanting to try it for a while. I just wish I'd had some time to practice it a little bit before streaming it, but I don't know. I, we're going to fail in style, I think. We're going to totally fail in style. I think maybe we'll go for a... You know, I, I don't know. Should we go for... You know, I, I'm thinking we'll go for a science lab right away, too, so that we can get some of the, uh, so the probes and stuff like that right away. Uh, I'm going to do the science lab over here, yes, and then I think we're also going to go for uh, the canteen, I think is probably something really good to go for almost immediately, just because, uh, you, just to keep your people happy, because if they're not happy, they won't go to work, so that actually is can be a serious problem, from what I've read, anyway, I, I, I could be totally wrong, maybe I'm going, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Pixelated Apollo is streaming by. Okay, see you later, Instant Doom. Bye, bye, bye. Uh, yes, I, I normally go for Science Lab quite quickly to reduce the building cost of new tiles. I, I love how people are like, I'm going to go watch something else. Bye. <laughs> I, I don't know. Whatever. Whatever, dude. That's kind of funny, though. <laughs> You're not going to the solar place? I am going to the solar place, but I'm being careful what I... No, 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 Lightning. You shush. Uh, I want to build a couple of these other things over here, and I'm thinking I want to build the storage on this side, because keep in mind, we only have to build one thing here, and then we get... Oh, no, we have to build two things here. So if we did the storage here, and then we built... Uh, so we only need to build one more thing here, and then we can build the solar thing. So we're, we're going that direction, but I wanted to get a couple things here. Now, where you place things, I think, is really important, because you have to consider protecting it all. Uh, so in other words, eventually, once we get our little, oh good, we got our, uh, we got our crew quarters down. Yeah, I could build a mine here possibly, but I don't, oh yeah, building a mine here, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, we'll build a mine here because we can mine this thing here, yeah, really great idea. Great, great, great. That's one thing out of the way, right? So I don't know if I'm building too much at the beginning, I have no idea. Uh, second crew quarters? Uh, did I build a I didn't build a second crew Oh, I did build a second crew quarters. Oh, balls. Hold on. Cancel. Can I cancel? Hold on, hold on. Pause. I don't believe you. Hold on. Let me make sure that's exactly what I did. Cancel. Did I build a second crew quarters? I didn't mean to. Oh, yes. I built a second crew quarters. Okay. Did they... They didn't break anything here yet. So let's destroy this. Does it instantly destroy it? <gasps> Can I pause the building? Hold on. Actually, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna pause this. Will... Will it just kick, kick everybody out first? Oh no! We're gonna have to start over. Okay, so when you destroy a module and there's people in it, uh, they die. So we're starting over. <laughs> I had no idea! Why wouldn't they leave? Okay. <laughs> ah, that's funny. Okay, here we go. We're gonna try this again. I, I want to do the same mission. I also want to see... <laughs> I didn't realize... I thought they'd, like, leave before it blows up. I, how do you... How to remove a module, then? How do you stop people from going in a module? Okay, let's try this again. All right, I'm having fun already. <laughs> I've already made a critical error. So we're going to try this again. We're going to try Fury or Furry. <laughs> I look at it. Furry 5. Anyway, we're going to start game. There we go. We're going to try this again. <laughs> well, I, I thought, you know, I thought you could remove a module and they'd be like, okay, we'll leave the module before it blows up. But no, no, not at all. Okay, so is it the same? It is the exact same map. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. Awesome. All right. So this is good. Uh, do we get the same exact people too? Hold on. Let's just double check. I mean, it's not like we were that far anyway. Uh, no, we get different people. Okay. So they all have different. So glutton, optimist, OCD. Awesome. <laughs> An OCD worker. Oh, freaking fantastic. Glutton, mercenary. Uh, let's go down here. Uh, bright personality. Yes. Awesome. Uh, fussy. <laughs> but she's a fussy boots. <laughs> fussy boots. Genius. That sounds like a great thing to have as your uh, cleaner. So it's kind of like, uh, uh, what's that movie? Uh, blah, 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 I can't remember. Uh, Goodwill Hunting. He's Goodwill Hunting. He's got the mop and he's wandering around ant answering all the uh, the math problems. I love it. Then you've got uh, Smart and Gloomy, and then we've got Mercenary and Hedonist. Lazy Bones. All right, good enough. <laughs> 
It's the do. It's fine. You can go and watch whoever you want. It's perfectly fine. I don't mind you watching somebody else. I just thought it was actually quite entertaining that you were telling me you're leaving. I'm leaving. I'm going somewhere else. All right, let's try this again. All right, so we're gonna put down. Let's start off. Let's let's start off with the crew. I don't think the crew quarters needs to be, because I think we'll have like our manufacturing down in here, maybe. You know what? Might be better if we did like the storage right here. That way it's not far for them to bring all of the materials from these two mines over. And then we did like manufacturing on one of these sides or something. Or we did storage. Yeah, so... You know what? Let's go... Okay, crew quarters. We're gonna actually... Let's start with the crew quarters first. Crew quarters here. I want the crew quarters kind of out of the way. Then we're going to build the lounge deck here. I know, we're doing all the recreational stuff first. Because, you know, you gotta keep your people happy. And the canteen. So if we did that right, canteen, lounge deck, crew quarters. We don't need any more recreation stuff for a while, but that gets our basic crew stuff out of the way. <laughs> Mercenary sounds like they demand extra money. I don't know, I'll have to take a look at it in a second. They, you might be right on that. Hello, Warframe! Hello, hello! Uh, no, you're not late, by the way. No, not at all. Alright, so let's do... Uh, let's actually get it going. We'll get them building. Sure, uh, we never really looked. Hold on, I just want to see something here. Go to our crew. So we, our workers, uh, oh, they're slightly faster and stronger. Oh, faster, stronger, better. I'm glad we started over. Perfect. <laughs> they want, they, they want, or they want pay raises. You know what? Let's go take a look. Mercenary, where is it here? Mercenary, Glut Mercenary. Uh, that's under role stats. No, no, no. That's under <laughs> skills. Mercenary, often demand salary increases. Okay. Consumes twice as much food, so he's an expensive employee to have. So he eats twice as much, and he wants uh, more money. That's just great. That is that is delightful. That is just delightful. How do I close this? Hello? Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right, so now we're going this way towards that solar panel. So if we build... Do I want the storage here? If we build the storage here, they're going to have to travel a long way. I, you know what? Probably better building the storage. Nah, you know what? I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is. You know what? Let's build the storage here. Yes. And then we'll do the mine. The mining platform here. And then they can mine this. Uh, I'm not sure if this is... I'm not sure what material this is. Does it even... Hold on. Let me see. I don't think... Until you get a storage, I don't think you can even tell what kind of... Like, what is that? I, I think that's spare parts. I think that's plastic. That's metal. That's tea. <laughs> Some tea. Got it. This must be a British space station. They have a lot of tea. I think that's uh, food, actually. Medicine. Okay. Ooh, med bay. That's probably a really important one to get right away. So, I don't know if building everything all at once was a really good idea. <laughs> probably not. One of the things we can do is we can change people's jobs. So, the miner, we're not going to need a... Oh, the science. Yes, we need to get science going right away. That's really important. Well, let's get, uh, let's get the science down. You know what? We're just building everything all at once. That's probably a huge mistake, but that's what we're doing. It's how I roll, baby. I don't want to build there because I don't know. Yeah, I think we're going to build. If we build the science. Yeah, I'd like to have manufacturing down there. I don't want to build there because we might be able, we might have to put some kind of mining station or something here to mine this. Or not a mining station. It could be a cloud or something. Who knows? If we do the science station on this side, I guess that's all right. All right, good. I'm, I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling confident. Uh, look at, hey, yeah, our, actually our haulers are moving quite quickly. Faster than our technician. So there we go. Our lounge deck is done. We've got our crew quarters. Perfect. They have a place to sleep and a place to relax. Lovely. I'm just going to move my little chat window up a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. Excellent. Uh, so far, so good. So far, so good. Nothing's exploded. Um, oh, look, and you can see the uh, see the little uh, the little wings. I wish you could zoom in further. See the little wings beside the guy? Uh, that means they've walked by somebody that has a bright personality. Isn't that cool? So, yeah, you want lots of people with bright personalities. Um, so I'm kind of... But I... Uh, oh, lovely. Six, minus six power. Yeah, we have minus six power. Yep. Well, we don't have the solar panel yet. I'm just got, I want to get the rest of these little, uh, it doesn't really matter. It's not like we're going to run out of power, I don't think. I say that now. Maybe we will. I don't know. I suppose we could put down that solar panel now. I guess it doesn't really matter when we place it down. Uh, sure. Uh, that is under production. Solar panel. Solar panel. I don't know why it moved me all the way over there. Solar panel right here. So the solar panels are at the mercy of the solar 
of the, uh, the, the, the sun's fluctuations. In other words, right now, it's, the sun's only producing 10% of its output. So the solar panel can only gather whatever this, uh, this indicates here. So 10% of the output. But I don't know. And then it's funny that you can only place it on the spots that have the little star. <laughs> I don't know. Like, that seems kind of weird that you couldn't just place it anywhere in the station. But whatever. It's a thing. And then research. Can I actually open up the research panel? I can't. Where's my... Oh, technician's working on the uh, science lab. Excellent, excellent. So once he's done that, we can actually research ways to improve the amount of power that we're getting from the solar panels, even though, you know, like at times it's going to be at 10% or whatever. Uh, we aren't going to run out of power anytime soon. I, we're still at three... Oh, it's coming down quickly. Like, we are actually growing pretty quick, but uh, but as soon as we get that solar panel up, we're, we're going to be perfectly fine. We're going to be perfectly fine. I remember one time I got hopped. I got hooped, and I had the entire map only run one solar farm, uh, count, expand, and what? what? And couldn't expand at all. Yeah, so, yeah, with only one solar farm, you could be in trouble. You, I think there is some research that we can do to improve our solar farms. I'm just going to double check that. That's not what I'm going to research right now, but advanced energy systems, so you can get the cascade photo cells 30 plus 30 percent to solar panel efficiency and then uh, add some more batteries uh, batteries are probably just as important because you know during those times that you are getting that great solar output you want to have lots of room to store that power so i think that's pretty key so a combination of these two and there's also a reactor unit where you can use uh cold fusion it consumes substances derived from minerals uh, high, out, high output power, so you just it costs you minerals of some sort. Anyway, so to start off, I think we're going to do the probe research. It's 500 points. Both of our scientists can go in and do that research. That will allow us to figure out what this little glob of whatever this is. It might be something really important right away, so we might as well research that uh, immediately. That's nice that we got that uh, science up right away. Oh, you're not that late, Balto. Actually, we pretty much just got started. As a matter of fact, uh, we got started. I died. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I would wait with the probe. Yeah, but we're going to have solar power up pretty quickly. I just want to see what... I, I really want to see what this is first. Uh, I know that might be crazy because to use a probes, if I remember correctly, it's like 300 power or something. <laughs> I mean, that's probably really good advice, but <laughs> I'm not going to take that one. I, I just want to see what's here because it'll determine what I'm going to do next with this area. And I also wonder... Oh, hey, there is more oxygen here. I also wonder if these question marks change every time you play this particular map yeah i the first the first time i played balto uh the first round i uh, I, I blew up i blew up some colonists by accident <laughs> i kind of killed some people whoops oh hey there's our storage place awesome so now we can actually they'll, they'll start to move all of the stuff that we have in our main foyer here to the storage area which is nice and uh i'm thinking that storage area needs to be close by to manufacturing places because that would make sense and I think we'll do like a manufacturing place here, and then we're gonna have to do another mine here. That's it's they're gonna have to walk quite a ways to bring it all to storage, but that shouldn't be too bad. I could do the manufacturing here, and then I'd have to do connectors there or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Oh, actually, you know what? It, it was it was an accident. I accidentally blew up some people. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, people that I blew up. Sorry. Mining platform is done. So now our miner should go in here and start mining, automatically mining this, I believe. I think there's two different mining skills. Uh, I just want to check something. Hold on. Where is my people? Peoples! Miners. Uh, where are they? Okay, so I think, yes. Yeah, so there's ore mining and mineral mining. And I, I, I think, I think this is, oh, what? Hold on, hold on. What happened? Uh, uh, miner energy leak oh no uh repair 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 uh repair repair here we go repair <laughs> yay yeah we are burning through the power you're absolutely right but oh and actually uh just i'm just gonna pause it here for a second can i make somebody else a technician for a minute because we need to get this 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 up and running this power up and running so you're absolutely right let's see if we can switch somebody so miners we don't need a medic right now does she of course none of these guys have any other skills other than the ones they were you know, like science has science and... Uh, you know what? Genius, just out of curiosity. Genius, does that mean he learns skills extra fast? And he has, but he has a really low intelligence, really weird. Hold on. Intelligence grows together with professional skill. Also has a 50% chance to get double experience at work. You know what? I'm gonna make him a technician. That might be a mistake. Uh, I don't know how well he'll do the job, but at least at least we'll have two people doing it. So Roland Bennett is now a technician. We have nobody cleaning. Let's try that. 
<laughs> I wouldn't change it or you're going to blow more stuff up. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, I, uh, uh, that'll be fine too. Uh, why is he sleeping? Technician is sleeping. Don't be sleeping. Oh, no. This technician's repairing. <laughs> We're totally going to run out of power. So what happens if we run out of power? <laughs> I mean, I would think on a space station that would be a really bad thing to happen. <laughs> to run out of power. But you know what? This guy's a genius. He's super smart. Hold on. Is this the guy? Is this the guy? Uh, smart? No, this is a different guy. This is... Oh, no, this is... Hold on. Oh, this is the other guy. Okay, so this is the genius who's trying to repair. Oh, no. And he has absolutely no skill at repairing, so this could be really bad. So we've got a, mi more, a minor energy leak. Ugh. Okay, so where's my technician? Ah, probe! Probability to us. Okay, so we've got the probe available to us. Um, Let's do some more research. Let's do some research now on defensive systems. So we're gonna get some turrets going too because apparently there's lots of meteorites in this system. So that's probably a really good idea. Uh, who is this? Okay, so we've got somebody building the solar panel now. We are out of power. Out of power right now, we are out of power. <laughs> Everything is shutting down. No life support. Nah, you'll be fine. Whatever, you know what, power, who needs power? No, no, we will We will huddle together. We'll. You know what, we need some bikes in here so they can ride the bikes. You know, like the bikes that like power the TV. <laughs> Kind of thing. That's what we need to do. So in case of emergency, everybody just jumps on a bike. <laughs> this could be it. This could be the end. Hold on. No, we're almost done. 64, 60, almost 70%, over 70% solar energy. So there we go. We're actually gaining power. There we go. Yay, just in time. Yes, excellent. We did it. We did it. We still haven't repaired this leak, but who cares? It's fine. <laughs> We've done it. We've done it. Excellent. Look at that. Everything is coming back online. Got life support. You guys were all panicked for no good reason whatsoever. Probably a really good reason. So we've done some mining already. We have 28. What is this? Like, how can I tell if this is... Is this ore or is this crystals? I think... I'm pretty sure this is crystals. That looks like crystals. <laughs> That's how you'll power the station. Yes. <laughs> so we have solar panels. Everything's working. Yay. Uh, one of the things I, I kind of wish with this game is that you could see the kind of like an overlay of what's going on outside too, because there's always stuff like there's meteorites and things that are, you know, happening outside and stuff too. And I, I kind of wish I could see it at the same time, but you can't. Excellent. All right. So there we go. We've got power. We've got storage and we've got some materials. Maybe we'll go for this material. I don't know. I don't know what the right. Actually, you know what? We're going to go for our probe. We've got, see, we've got more than enough power, so yeah, perfect. Let's go for our probe. This is going to cost us 300 power and 1,000 gold credits, whatever that is. Probing! <laughs> Just stay still. <laughs> bite, bite the pillow. We're doing a little bit of a probe here. <laughs> what? Oh, what? Oh, what, what, what? 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 Oh, no, the guy. Oh, no, the girl I made f turned into a technician from a cleaner. She injured herself repairing it. Oh, balls. <laughs> That's not good. Okay, well, we have no... We all, we're back down to one technician. We have no cleaners. We don't need stinking cleaners. You know what we're going to do? <laughs> well, we're off to a great start. Actually, it's great. I love it. I love it. I love it. So do we have a high agility? Yeah. We could turn one of our oxygen plants. <laughs> he didn't know electricity hurts. <laughs> that is awesome. I love it. So we're going to turn one of our oxygen plant operators into a cleaner for now? Or scientists? No, I want to keep two scientists. Got to keep a medic. We, we need a med bay. But uh, I don't think we need two oxygen plant operators right now. So let's... And this one, this guy's a lazy bones. Hold on. No, 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 no. Let's go. There's two of them here. So we've got a lazy bones. Let's try and find the most appropriate person. So we've got a lazy bones and we've got a mercenary. He's twice as much. I don't want the lazy bones as a cleaner. I assume they're slower. So let's do the... Let's do that guy. Let's change him into a... Cleaner. Where's where's cleaner? There it is. Dustpan. There we go. Tidying up the station. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so he was trying to repair this thing, and he blew himself up. That's really interesting. So I need somebody to repair that. Where's our technician? And speaking of, that does uh, bring up the next thing: is we need to have a way for people to heal themselves. So let's get a general med bay. Defense systems is up, and let's build the med bay right here. That way, we can branch that off and get that uh, cloud if we when we're ready to do so. The med bay, is, is it under general? What is it? Other? Science lab? I, I missed it. I just had it a second ago. Med bay, there it is. So let's do the med bay here. 
Yeah, the pa the power is like the power. We've got lots of power, so we're getting like between. The thing is, we need more power storage. That's going to be the key. So anytime we're like at seventeen percent or under in solar production, we're actually going to be in a deficit. So we do have to be careful of that. We need more. Uh, <laughs> my, my, hold on, instant doom deluxe a deluxe opinion on New Zealand. Um, because New Zealand is the birthplace of. Uh, or the one of the greatest settings for the best movings in the world, or the best series of movies in the world. I can't. I have nothing bad to say about New Zealand. Of course, that's Lord of the Rings. So I love New Zealand and great accent, by the way. I, I think New Zealand accent. New Ze <laughs> Here, I'm gonna piss off all of the. Uh, yes, I am streaming. Yes, Mad Yet. I, I'll piss off all of the uh, Australian people. I think the New Zealand accent is actually a little bit more attractive. Ha 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 ha! I like the New Zealand accent. Beautiful countryside. I love it. Uh, <laughs> I set a reminder and my son decides to want feeding right after the start. Oh, uh, you know what? It's the same with my cats. As soon as I start streaming, they start nibbling on my leg. <laughs> um, supply is always exp as ex expensive, so uh, go for trade instead. Yeah, you know what? I think we're going to... We'll go for trade, sure. Let's. But apparently this particular area has low trade. I just wanted to be sure that that technician got that done first. So we've got our... Med Bay is going up right now, and then I think we'll go for trade. We're going to do the trade down here, sort of near the storage. Uh, we'll do trade here. Oh, also, yes, also, 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 uh, pulse laser platform. We've got to get that going so we can defend ourselves. <laughs> oh, message from Isabel Bright. The same guys as me... The same guys as me at your station get a lot more, and why can't I be as good as them? Am I special or what? You want a 120 bucks increase? Sure. But you've got you've got to liven up a little bit. You look you look pretty bland. There you go. Sure. Gonna give her some money. I'm not gonna piss off my crew right away. That's probably one of the mercenaries. <laughs> uh, that's okay. You know what? I, I but I think it'd be kinda cool to train up somebody from scratch into Oh, he's very unhappy. He's very unhappy. Tired and low morality. So Okay, he's gonna go rest up. Good. We don't want our technician to go down. Possible laser platform. Okay, so now that we've got the laser platform, I'm going to improve the laser platform. This will give it plus 50% to laser damage. And we're going to start placing a couple of those down pretty quickly after we... Debatable. How much... So we've got 190 metal left. And we've got 40... Or 235 plastic. So we'd have to start considering our ability to make more of these. And I think with... I think we make the plastic from the crystals, I think... <laughs> my morale tank because I let somebody kill themselves. I didn't really let him kill himself. He did that all on his own. Some people have, they have to take some responsibility for their own actions. Just because I assign him to a job. <laughs> it's like, I'm, I'm the janitor. I'm like, but I want you to fix stuff. But he's like, I, I'm the janitor though. I'm like, I don't care. Go fix stuff. <laughs> it's like, all right. <laughs> and I hand him all this equipment and he's like, I got it. And then I can, so we've got a, a very weak fire. Fantastic. Uh, the technician is asleep. Now he's going to eat. Great. <laughs> Probe scan results. Oh, hey. When investigating this area, we were able to detect a large gas cloud. See, there, I knew that was going to happen. Seems that we can, uh, it seems that we can extract oxygen from it. So there is 9,547 oxygen there. Uh, we are low on oxygen, so it's time. It's time, actually. Let's get that oxygen plant up. Uh-oh. Uh uh, we've also got incoming asteroids. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Let's maybe get some defense going here. So let's take a look at our map here. Let's oh, uh, pause, pause. We're not going to get that built in time. So we've got an asteroid coming directly for the station. <laughs> oh no. Uh, okay, so hold on. I'm just curious. Let's look at their line of travel here. So this guy is definitely going to hit the station. <laughs> like 100% going to hit the station. Yeah, I think we're going to let's do the I don't know, should I do the platform here or do the platform here? I could harvest, oh, I could harvest both clouds, but it's too late now. Oh, that would have been brilliant. Oh, that would have been brilliant. Oh, that would have been so brilliant. It's it's a little late. Is there somebody actually on this? They haven't actually brought any stuff. Hold on. There's nobody there. Okay, so technically if I destroy this, it shouldn't, it shouldn't, it shouldn't kill anybody. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so we didn't actually have any material in there, and nobody was in there, so that's good. Brilliant. Uh, super smart. Super, super smart. Thank you, thank you. That's why I have you guys here. 
Uh, hold on, I'm just gonna pause it here for a second. Ion Storm in this sector does not allow the delivery of necessary goods, especially medicines from er from the Earth. This caused a temporary increase in demand. Interesting. So if we were if we were manufacturing medicines, then that would be a good time to sell them, I would think. But uh, we don't. I mean, we only have enough to keep our people alive, and even then, that's not even enough, probably. So yeah, uh, as recommended, if we. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliance is not for Rob, it seems. Well, you know. But I, I don't know, that's really smart. Yeah, putting that in between the two, that is really, really quite, really quite smart. Hold on, let's do that. So let's, uh, what is that, production? So we're going to put the oxygen module there. That way when we run out of one, we can still go after the other. That's great. I love it. So uh, let's also put the defense platform over here. Well, I, you, you knew you knew what this was when you got here. You knew this wasn't going to be effective playing. You knew what this was. You knew what this was. <laughs> Don't try and convince yourself that you thought this, this was going to be expert gameplay. Honestly, this is the first time I've played this game, really. So <laughs> even if it wasn't, you can't expect expert gameplay on a stream. <laughs> on my streams, anyway. So we'll do the defense platform here. Or should we do it here? I think we'd cover more area here. We'd get them coming at the angle really well here, but I think, you know what, I'm going to cancel that one. <laughs> get good! Oh, why is it? No, pause, pause, pause. Why aren't you pausing? I think we're going to do it. Uh, we're going to do the defense platform over here. I think we'll cover more area of our base if we do it over here. I don't know. I don't know if there's a right answer. We'll probably need more than one of those, too. Like, we'll probably, uh, yeah, we've got 33,000. You're right. We're pre running pretty low on cash. But let's let's give that let's give that a shot. We just need to get that up. We need to get this trade station up, and we need to get this asteroid's gonna hit the station for sure. Oh! So that did affect the condition for sure. It didn't cause any serious damage. Uh, little bit of condition damage there. Not bad. Oh wow, these guys are really badly damaged. Holy crap! <laughs> yeah, that's right. Thank you, Tack Dragon Rider. I'm an expert at fun and good times. <laughs> Not necessarily good gaming, but uh, I don't know. I, 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 you know, as as I've always said, gaming is about having fun. If you're not having fun, you know who cares. So some people that uh, play really expertly are just uh, don't have fun. Like they take it so seriously. Games like this, uh, especially like this, need you need to have fun with it because odds are you're going to die even if you're really good at the game. So you gotta, you gotta stop and just have fun. So, uh, yeah. Looks like these two, this asteroid might hit us. Let's go to the external loop. Yeah, that totally hit us. It's funny that uh, it didn't actually destroy it. Oh, okay, so it didn't, did it affect the condition? Oh, it did affect the hull on that one. Oh yeah, wow. Yeah, the hull's like half. Wow, we are taking a lot of hull damage. Can I prioritize what they're building? And also, uh, improve control. No, that's still coming. Yeah, they're brutal. They do a lot of, some of them, if they hit directly, they do a lot of hull damage. Interesting. And I, I so there's hull and condition. I think condition is more the internal structure, whereas hull's the out external structure, maybe? I don't know. Interesting, though. All right, message. Oh, he wants a raise, too. All right, fine. Here, take a raise. 144 bucks, Adam. <laughs> I don't even care. I don't even care at this point. Just get out of my office. <laughs> <laughs> Those were small asteroids. Oh, great. <laughs> that's that's lovely. Improved control module. Okay, so that means our little gun will go faster or better. Uh, do more damage as soon as it gets built. And we have, still have 135 metal. I think we're going to go for manufacturing now. I think next is manufacturing so that we can actually build... Yeah, let's go manufacturing. So then we can actually get some more... We can build our own metal and stuff because we've got all the resources here. I don't want to have to buy it all. You know what I mean? So we're pro we're going to have to build another mine here, but I'm not too panicked about that quite yet. Oh, tack, that's fine. It's fine. Nobody expects you to hit all the streams and watch all the videos, dude. I don't expect that of anybody. <laughs> I barely show up for all my own videos. Oh, wait, no, I have to be there for those. So almost done with our little gun. I'm super excited. I haven't actually seen the guns yet. I I'm excited. I'm excited. I want to see it. <laughs> Hurry up! <laughs> cool, and uh, so yeah, we're gonna go for manufacturing, so resource processing and then manufacturing. Then I, we're gonna need to have a specialist for that. And I think we can get them through trade. However, I think we can buy more people through trade. However, uh, we did pick a map that has low trade opportunities. 
there remained less than 10%. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There remained less, uh, less than 10% of oxygen. As soon as it is over, it will lead to a suffocation and death of all of the inhabitants of the station. So, right. We still haven't built our oxygen thing. Oh, God. <laughs> well, uh, maybe we'll get it done in time. I don't know. Well, <laughs> hey, the more people that die, the less oxygen we're going to need. <laughs> it's all going to work out. <laughs> okay, so there's our turret. Is that a turret? Pulse laser platform. I guess this is a pulse laser platform. <laughs> Oxygens don't need heat. I mean, humans. Don't, oxygens don't need humans. What are you talking about? Hootums don't need oxygen. That's ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> it, it doesn't look like a gun, does it? Doesn't. I don't know what it looks like. Doesn't look like anything. All right, go build that uh, oxygenator, please, or oxygen gathering thing. So. We've got all the materials there. All he's got to do is build it. So, and he's in good spirits. He should be able to build it in time. Just like we got our power up just in the nick of time, we're going to get our oxygen. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got lots of time. 28, 27, 26. He's going to fall over dead. Uh, food. We have food. We have 89 food. We're good. We're good. We'll, we'll get some more here uh, soon, maybe. Just got to watch for trade ships. I hope it does a little notification when trade ships arrive because... Uh, I don't want to miss that. Oh, what, what's this little indicator now? What What's happening? What's going on here? What is this? What does the little flashing red cube thing mean? Oh, no. I don't know what that means. Disable resource delivery. No? What is the little flashing root cube thing? Storage full. Oh, okay. That makes sense. All right. Well, that's fine. I don't... Oh, 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 crap. Hold on, pause, pause, pause. Accident. Oh! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Worker is diseased. Speed and morale are reduced. Uh, okay, we're going to send her... Do we have a med bay? We do have a med bay, and we have a med medical dude. We're going to send her to go get some medicine. So, off you go. Go to the med bay. <laughs> and in the meantime, we've got a energy system broken. Message from Victoria... I, I don't want to give you more money. That's a that's a big raise. 422 bucks? That's ridiculous. Oh, all these mercenaries, man. Okay, uh, we're going to go broke so fast here. It's not even funny. All right, so we've got our oxygen up. We just need to get our oxygen dudes over there. Technicians working on the thing. Uh, we're out of oxygen. Where's our oxygen dudes? Where are they? Hold on. <laughs> oh, here they go. Here they go. I think this is... Is this them? Uh, minor. No. Nope. Uh, worker. Where's our oxygen dudes? Cleaner. Scientist. Oh, no. Oxygen operator. Oh, man. <laughs> He's taken the long way. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause. Our cleaner used to be an oxygen dude. So let's make our cleaner back into an oxygen dude. Uh, you're going to go back to O2 operations. Perfect. Oh, trade ship arrived. F perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, click to trade. All right. So what do we got here? So we can buy metal, meat, food, spare parts. Uh, we can sell or metal, plastics, food, medicines, and spare parts. So wow, okay, so to buy spare parts, it's 1332. To sell them, it's 356. Wow, that is a huge disparity. So I don't think we're gonna be selling much for a while. Ooh, good price on food. Medicines, uh, they were more valuable. Okay, but we can actually get more people here. So we need a cleaner. First of all, is there anybody that's just cheap that would be good for cleaning? So 800, sorry, we've got somebody for 800. 800. So he's good at chemistry though. Kind of good at chemistry and science. So I'm gonna take uh, this guy here. He's got really good chemist. Oh, slovenly. Slovenly means they're really slow, doesn't it? And boozer, <laughs> you can't win. So we've got a, an alcoholic cleaner or we've got uh, a really slow cleaner, but he's really high in strength, but low agility. They're going to move very slow. But it's better than no cleaner at all, and I just want to go cheap unless... This, oh, this guy's got high agility, good at oxygen, and he's mo and she's modest. For a little bit more, I think we'll go for her as a cleaner. And then, what else do we need right now? Oh, was there a good person good with cleaning? Hold on. I actually didn't know there was a cleaning skill. Oh, there is a cleaning, actual cleaning skill. Oh, okay, there we go. 1440, though. That's ridiculous. I'm I'm not paying fourteen forty for a cleaner. Like they they can learn how to clean. Like how hard can that be? 
<laughs> That's ridiculous. I'm not going to pay that much. I would like to replace all these mercenaries, but uh, we really don't have a lot of money right now. I don't know. Does it cost us money right out of the gate to hire these guys? I don't know. Cle Kleptomatic, Maniac, First Aid, no. Botany, no. Uh, you know what we need? We need guys that are good at uh, metallurgy and plastics. So we've got a plastics guy there. We've got communications. So we've got one plastics person. Optimist Knee Freak. I'm going to pick up Julian as well, so because we're going to go for manufacturing pretty quickly so that we can get our own metal and metal and plastics uh, so that we don't run out of that stuff. And then we're going to go for food. I think that's... Okay, it doesn't cost anything. <laughs> oh, cleaning in space is harder. You're probably right. It probably is. Like, you, you want to be sure not to hit all the extra knobs and stuff, like, and jettison yourself out into space, because that would be really bad. <laughs> Uh, can you imagine? Oh my god. Don't clean that! No! Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Where's our oxygen dudes? Come on, man. These guys are... Oxygen operator, why are you just hanging out in here? Go to work, man. Scientist, uh, oxygen. No, you're going the wrong way. I need you to go to work. Go to work. It's gonna cause depression. I don't care. Go to work. <laughs> All of our guys are going to die here. Ah, okay, hold on. Let's, uh, while we're just hanging out here, we're going to make, this guy is going to be, he's going to be a resource dude. Oh, I see. Hold on. Uh, this person's going to be a cleaner. Sure. Cleaning in space. How difficult can it be? Sure. Cleaning in space. And this guy is going to be a resource dude, but we can make him do something else for now. Let's, uh, do we, do we dare put him on for oxygen generation for a while? I don't think it, now nah, our two guys are going to be there. Everybody's starting to, uh, die here. We've got 50% oxygen left in the tanks. Come on, get to work. So will they work on both then at the same time? Why is he going back? No. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, I know, right? I tell him to go to work. Everybody's going to die. The station's running out of oxygen. We're all going to die. And he's like, but I don't I don't really want to work. Doesn't make sense. Hold on, go to work. Oh, now he's unhappy. Really? Now he's like terribly unhappy. Okay, so we're filling up the oxygen tanks. It looks like we're we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. See? Another crisis averted. Yay! Uh, you can tell them to switch the cloud they're harvesting. Oh, can you? How do you do that? Uh, how do you switch? I, I'm just curious. I don't, I don't need to do it right now. I'm just wondering how you would do it. So destroy. Power off. Information. Okay. All right. Well, the point is we're going to live here. We're going to live. Okay. So in our other guy, uh, research. Where are we for our research? Kind of lost track of our research there. Manufacturing plant. We've got our manufacturing plant. Let's go for building up our hulls a little bit because uh, we're getting beat up. And we're going to go for manufacturing now. Uh, I would go for... You know what? Is that trade ship still here? He is. I need another miner. I need somebody that's good at... Either one, either ore or mineral. It doesn't really matter. Mineral. It might be a mistake to hire all these extra guys, but uh, that's okay. And do we have, we've got enough to build the manufacturing plant, which is uh, production. Don't we, oh, did we not research the manufacturing plant? I thought we did. Oh, we didn't. Okay, manufacturing plant, we'll get that going. And then we'll build another mine. And only one person can work in a station at a time. So we, even though we've got two guys, ah, that, that makes sense. Okay, so I guess I guess that's acceptable. Then why would I have two guys? I guess if they're working on different shifts or something. But I sure did piss off the one guy. <laughs> I'm like, go to work. He's like, I can't. I'm like, go to work. He's like, there's nowhere to work. I'm like, go to work. <laughs> Excellent. Yay, we've got oxygen. We've got power. We're in pretty good shape. We've got a place to trade. We've got some people coming in. Um, this new guy, we're going to make into a miner. He can work at the other mine when he's uh, available too. So how, where's... <laughs> What the? What, what? What just happened? Hold on, is this the new cleaner? The cleaner injured. You're right. The cleaner injured herself cleaning. <laughs> what? Well, she got lots of experience doing it though. So health. Where's health? Okay, so it definitely took some damage. What did? What did you clean? 
She's in the med lab. She's cleaning the syringes. She's like, these syringes are filthy. <laughs> are you kidding me? She, the cleaner. Oh my god. The cleaner. Oh my god. That is that is hilarious. I'm sorry. I think that's super funny. The cleaner injured herself cleaning the syringes. That is. Oh, another increase. Bite me. Okay. <laughs> Don't clean the syringes. Oh god. <laughs> that is uh, that is really funny. Okay, so this guy's going to be a miner. Where is mining? Resource processing, mining. And then this last guy is going to be resource processing. I don't know if I should be changing these right now because they, they really don't do much, I don't think, until they actually have a place to work, right? But I don't know. I think the resource miner guy, it, the miner it, it might be handy. Like, they can take shifts and stuff. <laughs> I just, she dropped an entire container of syringes on her head. Uh, honestly, that that was actually pretty funny. Okay, so how far until we get? Uh, do we have enough to build both the mine and the manufacturing plant? That's the thing I don't know. I would build the mine right now, but I want to be sure. Okay, I just want to be sure that we have enough to do both. So we've only got 135 metal and 163 plastics. <laughs> she got attacked by the goo. <laughs> uh, manufacturing plant. Okay, good. Let's see how much this thing is. Manufacturing plant. And actually, let's go to research first. Positron. Hold on. Use of new production equipment control units? No idea. Uh, maybe we'll go for food after this. Oh, no. Let's go hull. Hull, hull first. Because we keep getting hit by asteroids. And then we'll go for food production. Okay. Uh, manufacturing. Let's see how much that is. Production. Uh, manufacturing plant. Uh, hull materials unlocks. Oh, we got hull materials already? Wow, that was super fast. I think it was partially done. Structural structural module deterioration speed. Uh, <laughs> deterioration? Deterior deterioration. I can't, why can't I say that now? Uh, so that reduces the amount of deterioration. Actually, armor plating might be better. Plus 50% uh, module hull. And well, then we'll do a structural integrity. Yes. Yes, perfect. Turn off my oxygen collector. How do I turn it off? power off. That way we're not wasting it. Yes! Good idea! And also, actually, can I sell oxygen? Oh, I probably wouldn't want to do that, eh? But I could probably sell oxygen. Hey, how's it going, Martin? Get nano uh, get nano frame first for what? Sorry, say that again, Kitsu Kami. I can only see a couple uh, chats here. Get nano frame first for, for what? What is nano frame? Oh, nano frame, this. Uh, minus 20% module construction cost. Oh, brilliant, yes. Let's go for that. Then, wait, we'll get that first, then we'll build the manufacturing plant. I'm just curious to know how much it is before that. So, 4025, and then the mine is 2010. Actually, they're not that expensive, but I think if we get that reduction in cost first, that would be a really good idea. Trade! A strong gravimetric radiation from one of the neighboring systems has disabled more than 10 stations. Due to the large number of repairs, there is a high demand for spare parts. Wonderful! Uh, I assume eventually we can make our own spare parts, because I think every time something gets... Oh, no. <gasps> Why is it in poor condition? We need more people actually repairing stuff. We need another technician. Next time that ship comes by, we need another te te technician for sure. Let's repair this sucker. So we've got another energy leak. That's not a big deal. Not a huge deal. Getting better batteries would be really nice, though. I'm not going to worry about it right now, but definitely. 40%. Try to get both. D uh, I'm going to get one. Like, I guess we're, we're getting these pretty quickly. Yeah, we'll go for the both, and then and then we'll build the manufacturing plant and stuff. Let's speed it up just a little bit. Probably a mistake. i got to keep an eye out for... Uh, oh, see you later, Tack. I've got to keep an eye out for trade ships as well. And I really want to see this, this cannon work. And I, do I need to build one on both sides? I assume I will. Oh, uh, module disabled. Right, we turned that off. That's fine. Oh, danger threat high. So I don't know what kind of range this, this cannon has. I doubt that it can prevent the modules on this side from getting hit. But I guess we'll find out. Oh, here they come. Asteroids, here they come. <laughs> Yay! Uh... Just checking something. Okay, module. Okay, that's that's too far away. I just want to see the cannon work. Uh, minus twenty percent module cost. Okay, so let's go for the nano frame two. Perfect. That'll reduce the cost. So it doesn't cost us any money or energy or anything to do this. Uh... Oh, here we go. <gasps> Asteroids incoming. I have a feeling we're gonna have to build a defensive module on this side too. I'm a little concerned, actually. I'm a lot concerned. The trade port has a leak. 
Oh, yes, so it does. It has an oxygen leak. Life support broken? Okay, let's repair that. <laughs> um. Okay, so this gun is... It's definitely out of range of that... Oh! <gasps> nope! Out of range of the gun. So now I have an idea of what kind of range these guns have. Not good enough! Alright, so we're definitely gonna have to build another one of these here. How much are these? Ah, we'll wait until... I mean, might as well wait now until we've got the nano thing done. Oh, man. Oh, nearly... Oh, no! The hull's about to go! This asteroid can actually destroy the station. We have, like, no hull. Oh, no! Oh, no! How many people just died there? Oh, we lost all of our storage. Oh, no! <laughs> and people died. Oh, rest in peace. That's it. Oh, man. That blows. <laughs> no! Okay, well, you know what? We're going to try this one more time. We're going to try a different map. Yeah, the storage is gone. We're, we're done. We can't build anything anymore. That was, that was... So, now I have an idea at least what kind of range these things have. Financial report. Expenses, and we're broke. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I knew this was a tough game, uh, but wow, I don't even know how it could have prevented that. I guess, I guess if we'd gone for more guns right away, that might have been interesting. Great fun, great fun. Let's do this one more time. Really quick, though, because I don't have a lot more time left. Uh, we're going to be, uh, I'm going to be getting together with Laps this afternoon to determine the winner of the Sweet Generous for the Cosmeteer Tournament number three. So, uh, let's try, let's do something a little bit more difficult. <laughs> Because <laughs> we can't do the medium, let's go for hard. So let's let's see here. The item of interest in this system is a gas giant of enormous size, twenty times bigger than Jupiter. It creates the strongest gravitational pull. Uh, sorry, I got distracted there. It creates uh, blah, 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 where are we? Uh, bigger than Jupiter. It creates the strongest gravitational pull, so it is very dangerous to approach it closer than thirty million kilometers. There is an asteroid field suitable for the de development on the outskirts of the system. So it is very dangerous to approach it closer than 30 million kilometers. I, how do you prevent? I don't understand. Ah, sure. Let's do it. <laughs> so we're playing on hard here, guys. And a few trade ships. Many tourists, though. <gasps> let's let's go for tourism this time. Let's try some tourism. And we're going to go for professional. Sure. We're going to... I have to do this quick, though, because I have to get together with laps in a bit here. <laughs> uh, let's die again. Yay! Uh, hello, by the way. Yeah, I meant to do that. Totally meant to die like that. Totally. Absolutely 100%. Alright, let's try this again. I think we did the right thing at the beginning. Uh, we're gonna go for... I'm not even gonna look at the people yet. I'm just gonna get some of this stuff down. So we're gonna go for general. We're gonna go for the canteen right away. Hello. There we go. Do we start off with same materials? Yeah, it looks like it. And we're gonna go for the recreation right away. Because I just think that's so important. I don't wanna... Can I place the... Can I... Hold on. I have a question. Uh, somebody's... Uh, who's played this a bit? Can I, can I, can I place a probe on these without having a station right beside it? Uh, I'm sure somebody's got the answer to that question. Because if I can place a probe on these without having to have a station right beside it, then I will leave this empty. Because I want to know what these are before I put something down beside it. You know what I mean? Um, also, just out of curiosity, so we've got okay another solar panel down here. So I'm actually going to start working my way down that way right away. So we're going to go recreation. We're going to go like this. And we're going to go lounge deck here. So we've got our lounge and we've got our crew quarters and we've got our canteen down. To get this going, we'll get them building that stuff. And then we're going to build. Oxygen's going to be here. Let's do... Oh, where do we mine? <laughs> uh, I guess... Yeah, science. Uh, we could do science here, I guess. Because we still got room to place up there. Yeah, let's do science there. Perfect. Good idea. Good good idea. Excellent job. Is that under other... Yes, science. So we'll do science here. Yes. Let's get our power next. Special module. Power. Perfect. And let's take a quick look at our people. People! Uh, OCD. Wonderful. Fussy. So we've got an OCD and a fussy <laughs> worker. Fantastic. Uh, ooh, high strength and ooh, low agility. High strength and agility on one of them, anyway. Uh, this miner, I'm going to make this miner a worker for now. Oh, how come? Hold on, that didn't work. Miner, hello, there we go. I'm going to make this miner a worker for now. It just means it's going to carry loads, because we don't, I mean, I'll just keep in mind, or remember that we've got a worker that's acting as a... 
What are those guys right now? Scientists, I want to keep those guys up. Uh, technician, ah, oh, man, it would be nice if we had somebody else that was good at, you know, being a technician. Having one technician to start is actually pretty dangerous, I think. Uh, science lab? What? Get science. What? I did. Science, science is, we're building a science lab. What are you talking about? Science lab. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Get science. <laughs> I have, uh, what are you talking about? Science is, we're building science. <laughs> Stop yelling at me. All right, so we're going to go for the, oh, I didn't, I didn't click the thing on the, whatever, it's fine. I see what you're saying. So we're going to click on, oh, I didn't accept this. That's what you're talking about. <laughs> so funny when you start yelling at me. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. Because, <laughs> I mean, we haven't got anything built yet. I guess we could speed it up while they build some of this basic stuff. Sure. Let's take a look on the inside and watch them work. I think getting the three haulers right away is great. I mean, we're not going to need a miner, I think, for a while. <laughs> uh, lightning, lightning always speaks in, in generalities, so he doesn't actually give you the specific information of what he's talking about. He's like, you didn't click on the thing. Remember, you got to click on the thing. You, you didn't accept it. And we're like, okay, well, what are you talking about? <laughs> It's like, I don't know, I, even he doesn't even know what he's talking about. See, these guys get tired so quickly. But you, uh, the technician getting tired is really bad at the beginning because you need the technician to build all the stuff, right? Okay, so, uh, lounge deck. So we've got, he's got a place to, no. Yeah. Where, the tech, hold on. Technician is sleeping on the floor. No, don't do that. Hold on, pause for a second. <laughs> technician can't be sleeping on the floor. Let's make our medic a temporary... Temporary technician, probably a terrible idea. Let's do it. I like it. <laughs> uh, build repair. There we go. <laughs> medic. <laughs> we need a medic to re to build our thing. I think building there's maybe there's less chance of them blowing stuff up if they build things. It's just slower. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Let's speed it up a little bit. So our technician is sleeping. <laughs> We've got another technician who's actually. <laughs> I I'm a doctor, not a technician, Jim. <laughs> I'm not a technician. I'm a doctor, Jim. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just get to work. Build some stuff. Come on, build some stuff. <laughs> yeah, he'll probably she'll probably blow the whole station up. <laughs> no, you put the wrench <laughs> you hold the wrench on this side, not on this side. No, no, don't stab yourself with the screwdriver. Come on. <laughs> How hard can it be to assemble these modules? It's probably like just add water, honestly. They're like sea monkeys. <laughs> They're like sea monkeys and you grow the whole station. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Perfect. See? No problems whatsoever. Now they have a place to sleep already. Oh, okay, that's that's a huge problem. Actually, okay, so maybe it didn't go as well as I thought. <laughs> oh, balls. Okay, so we've already got a fire. All right, I, I think our current <laughs> our new technician probably will do a terrible job, but uh, let's let's give her a shot. Sure, go ahead. Hey, how's it going, Finfish? We're about to die again. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. The station's about to blow up. Welcome. <laughs> I think a fire is probably more important than, you know, uh, a life support broken. Well, life support broken sounds pretty bad, too. I, I wouldn't want either of those situations. But how do I tell, how do I tell this technician to stop building stuff and to go repair the damaged station? And why is this technician not doing the job? Oh, what's this? No, no oxygen. Not a problem. I have a suit. Okay, so great. So no life support in this particular module. I see, okay. So she's doing the repair, or doing the best she can. She has no skill. We're all going to die. <laughs> yeah, you know, it doesn't make sense that you can't tell the technician who's who's building, he's building the lounge deck. Stop building the lounge deck and repair the damaged station. <laughs> Come on, seriously, what's wrong with you? Come on, get over here. He's like, but I really want a place to lie down and you know relax a little bit. I'm like, I don't care. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna die so fast here. Oh, she's getting some life support uh, skill. That's kind of nice. We can watch her skill go up. So I believe the higher the intelligence, uh, the more experience I get doing things. So yeah, she's already got some life experience or uh, life experience, life support. She's got some life experience too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I think I think the technicians can actually be in an area without life support for extended periods of time because they have a suit, maybe. Um, but other classes can't. I. I who somebody just got injured. Hold on. Accident at work. Butler. Right. Okay, so because she has no skill, she's getting damaged. She's already down to three quarters health. I don't care. <laughs> See you later, man. We're gonna die soon anyway. It's all gonna go up in flames very, very quickly. <laughs> uh, having a great time though. Let's speed it up just a little bit more. Come on. Come on. 
Well, we got this one repaired. That's kind of nice. Oh, and somebody's got an infectious disease already. What? Oh, no. Okay, she's taking some serious damage. And now we have, not only do we have a life support problem, but we also have a energy problem. Okay, so making the medic a uh, a technician, bad idea. All right, let's, let's switch her back to medic. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> How much damage can one person do? <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a fast game. Yep, it's gonna be a super fast game. We don't have, we're gonna have to get that medic. Can we, look at all the people. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All of these people have infectious diseases now. All of them. Look at them. They all have infectious diseases. Wow, this is what happens when you plan hard, guys. This is awesome. Okay, let's maybe get, uh, once he's done repairing, I want my technician to repair this, these modules though before they build anything else. Like, I don't know, let's, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, so, uh, as said, first two is med and science. Nah, see, I disagree. If they don't have a place to sleep and eat, then what's the point of having med and science, right? I totally disagree with you, Lightning. I think we just got bad luck on this one. Scientists have recorded a decrease in the number of flares and the appearance of a large number of coronal holes in the surface of the sun. This indicates a strong decrease in solar activity, zero sol solar activity. So. Even if we do get through this crisis and we do manage to build our solar panel, it's not going to do anything for us. <laughs> lovely! Absolutely lovely. We need to repair this module before we go any further. And my technician is standing around saying things like, cool. <laughs> and, hey, how's it going, man? And he's going to... Why is he, why is he building this module? So, uh, yeah, so, yeah. Well, yeah, it's an infectious disease, so it's going to spread to everybody. I disagree. I think I think building a place because if they don't have a place to rest and eat, they won't work. So if they won't work, then you can't build anything either. So, but I guess I don't know. It's a toss up. It just I think it's random. You know, like I think we had bad luck at the be building beginning here. Uh, you've probably <laughs> message from unknown ship. Hi, you probably have a lot of extra money. We will help you get rid of it. Twenty thousand credits. I don't think that you have a choice. Never. I will never submit. So we're about to be attacked by pirates. I assume. Here they come. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> I just wanted to see what hard was like. Well, we all know now. This is great. <laughs> I love it. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, Froggy. How's it going, Froggy? How you doing, man? Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we are so toast. <laughs> uh, so the station is falling apart. We have no power. Oh, we've got power again. Hey, that's... Or we're going to have power as soon as they build that. But it doesn't matter. The technician won't repair anything. And pirates are attacking. We could have just paid them off. But no. No, we are stubborn. And uh, if that... If all of that doesn't kill us, everybody in the, in, the, in the station is infected with something. Some kind of virulent disease. We are certainly dead here. Wonderful. Let's speed it up. Let's watch the destruction of the station. I have to go anyway. <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, don't relax. We'll come... Don't relax. We will come back and someone will be as good as dead. Oh, yeah. Sandy Butler died due to disease. Everybody's dying. Uh, the whole station is falling apart. Look at this. This is great. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> how, uh, Instant Doom Deluxe. Great question. Deluxe, how do you become successful on YouTube? Instant Doom. As soon as I figure that out, I will let you know. Um, actually, I, my goal has never been to become successful on YouTube. Or I guess... I guess define the success on YouTube because I honestly we have my channel and we have a great community a, a really awesome community actually and I've made a lot of friends in this and uh, I just I love the people I have a lot of fun so I, I don't understand what you mean by success do you mean success by having a million subs because a million subs to me is just it's more of a financial thing I guess because once you have a million subs, you can really, you really can't talk to a really tight knit community anymore. Like it's just, it becomes overwhelming. And I'm not saying that I wouldn't want a million subs, but I guess I think I've already become successful in YouTube in a lot of ways. I think I, I really enjoy all the things I do. I love the community and uh, yeah. But anyway, that's, that's my personal opinion. If you're talking about success in terms of building up a channel and making money off of it well that's something totally different yeah erica died uh, we're just i want to see i want to see the end game here we're gonna go fast fast forward here <laughs> you know what uh instant doom the best thing i can recommend if you're working on a youtube channel is to keep making videos 
Um, so that does two things. Not only are you continuing to let your community know, which will come, you're letting your community go know that you're going to continue to make videos and they're going to rely on you. You're going to become more of a persistent presence on YouTube. On top of that, you're also getting better. Every time you make a bit video, you get a little bit better. And that's the goal, right? Is to get better. You've got to expect that um, at the beginning, you're not going to be very good. And I'm still, I still, you know, I only feel like in the last, maybe the last year that I've really started to find my voice my voice for YouTube. I feel like I'm finally starting to come together. It's taken, what, what, three years? So, I mean, it takes a while, man. It takes a while. So that's that's my that's my recommendation. Just keep making videos, get better at what you're doing. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're done here. <laughs> I was kind of hoping we'd get to see the whole station just explode and we'd die because <laughs> we got completely crushed. Yeah, Instant Doom, it just takes time. You, you just got to keep making, you got to make videos, right? I If you're not making videos and, you know, you're not doing your part but if you're making videos and you're continuing to do it even if you're only getting one or two views at a time just keep doing it and you'll get better and of course the community will come the, the key is to get better right and to be persistent people need to know that you're continuing to do stuff on youtube people are dying look at this they have fish disease <laughs> uh, morale reduced uh, diseases uh stations blowing up this is lovely everybody's dying can cantina module destroyed <laughs> oh yeah people are suffocating uh, no, people aren't suffocating yet. We still have... Oh, no. People are suffocating here and here, which is lovely. <laughs> anyway, I, I'm going to let everybody go. Uh, this was a lot of fun today. Uh, I would totally recommend this game. This is a lot of fun. I might do a series on this, but I need to practice it a little bit more, I think. But uh, great game. Pick it up. It's like seven bucks. I think it's... Well, it's nine bucks Canadian, so it's like, you know, it's like five bucks American. Pick it up. Totally worthwhile. If you like games like RimWorld, where you like to torture yourself and stuff, it's like, it reminds me of a roguelike. You know, a little, in that, that same feeling. Like, you build something up grand, and then it all goes to hell. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen... Oh, the next tournament... I can't tell you exactly when the next tournament's gonna be. We're, I'm waiting for the next big patch for Cosmeteer, and then we'll go from there. Ladies and gentlemen, take care. I love y'all. Bye, 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 bye!